But yeah, such a mess. All this mess left behind. Got to be tidied up. Well, everybody, it's time for another decorating video. Today is painting, decorating the guest room, I suppose you'd put it as. Uh, so, all I'm going to do is uh, make a feature of that fireplace over there. And, uh, yeah, let's get decorating, see what I can do over there. Got a leak from a guttering that's made that wet, so, yeah. So, paint the ceiling and work my way down, I guess. Sanding and whatever else. Got the table there to sand on to get there. But, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Right, I'm doing this in two stages. Stage one uh, will be this ceiling here. Stage two will be this ceiling here. Uh, right, so what I've done is just cut it in all the way along, like that. Now don't worry if, you don't, if it looks patchy because you'll get it on a second coat. So this is the way I do it anyway. So I've uh, made sure that I've got every bit painted white. And then what I'll do is get a roller out, roller this here, and then that'll be the first coat, and then that'll be ready for a second coat when it dries. So, you'll see that next. Right guys, as you can see, I have now painted the ceiling in that area there. This area has not been done yet. I'm just showing you as I go what's happening. So I don't want to repeat it on the second bit, but anyway. So what I've done, as you saw, I cut it in all first. That's how we do things, if you didn't know but that's the way I do it anyway. And then just get a roller and then paint the middle. Now don't worry, it does look patchy. Yeah, it will do look patchy, but if you get every bit on the first coat, the second coat will go on very easy and it will not look patchy anymore. Also, as you go, do try and tidy up behind you as you go. So you see that there? You see that there? All I've got, an old towel there. So let's just give it a wipe. Get the paint off, it's job done, makes it easier for you in the long run and uh, gets it all out, luckily. Uh, you don't have to use a towel of course, oh, I do. See, so, just easier, just, just wipe it as you go, just easy. And as for drip marks on walls, like you see here, just uh, brush them off because all you're going to be doing at the end of the day, I don't know, well, this is what I'm going to be doing at the end of the day. I'm just going to be painting over this wallpaper anyway. Just uh, so, you know, just make sure you get rid of any drips that you see. It'll make it easier for you and a neater job. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically it on that section. So, I'm going to repeat what I've just done here on this section of the wall now. And then, uh, yeah. We'll see how it goes, and you'll see probably the second coat going on next. My right, guys, I lied to you. I've just done the cutting in for this space here, as you can see. Blah 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 blah. Now to give it a first coat, and then we'll give it a second. No idea how many people would be interested, but there's the colour difference. So I've just gone over the brow from that first pillar. Just over the brow, but you can see the kind of difference. So just the rest of it to do. And that'll be it for today. We'll see you in the next clip for the second coat, I suppose. That's it, all done for today. Uh, I think it's the 8th of, no, 9th of August, 2016. So there you go, I'll catch you on the second coat, probably when there's better light, daylight, and there we go. Right. I'm on a night shift again, but we have the coat, the second coat on, on the ceiling. But now I've been sanding the fireplace down, the skirting. I've also sealed some of it, chalked it where the, you can see right there. Just sealed all the gaps on it. Door frame's gonna be a bit of a nightmare. As you can see, dun, 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 down there, plenty of gaps. 
but I've done as much as I can, you know, down there. Taking the door handle off and sanded the door. Uh, so, sanded all the sky and as you can see I've undercoated that already. Undercoated the window, ready for painting, uh, ready for gloss, finish. So I'm just going to undercoat the rest of the skirting now and then tomorrow I'll gloss it. So we'll see how we get on, okay? Right guys, <laughs> daytime for a change. Uh, fully undercoated. I've managed to fix up the frame, looking okay. So uh, now it's uh, just a gloss to do all in here. And then we'll get on with the painting. Everything's been corked in or sealed or whatever you call it. So we'll see how it looks. And I've got a fly in here somewhere flying about. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, bye for now. I'll see you on the after the glossing, I suppose. And then it's I've got to do something over there. I don't know what yet. Uh, I might leave it for a while, I don't know. And there's a fly. Where is it? Ooh. I don't know, you're getting dizzy. Bye. Just thought I'd make a point of this bit here. Look how filthy the wall is. There's what I've got to contend with. So then you'll see it nice and clean afterwards. And you can see just there where I've done. So that's all clean, all done. When he comes here, it does how filthy it was, so you'll see the end result on that. It's one last goodbye to the pure filth. Good bye filth. And hello, nice and clean. Everyone's a winner. There we go. That's job done. Oh, you can see me, look, my shadow. Woohoo! Well, you can't now. Bad luck. Anyway, oh, there's me, my shadow. Woohoo! There you go, nice and clean, look. Big difference. Quick update for you. Taking the masking tape off the skirting. Uh, walls have dried now. Uh, can't really see. I need to do another gloss coat on this here. I haven't painted this wall yet. Got a different colour for that, rather than just having magnolia all the way around. Over there I did paint, repaint it, but it's got damp there. So I've got a, the, what it is is a guttering outside is leaking and making that wall all wet. So that needs repairing, then I'll have to dry that out and redo it but that'll be at a later stage but uh, as you can see all the walls have been done a whole lot better now and uh, well, it's just looking uh, 10 times better than what it was uh, I've got to take masking tape off that window put a curtain put curtains up curtain pole and I'm going to seal all around the edges of this flooring, just with sealant, uh, because you can see that there's, there's a gap there, it looks a bit silly, so just sealant all the way around. Uh, I've got to re-gloss this, uh, this door because to me it's patchy close up and from a distance, I don't know if it will show up on this camera, but it, it's patchy in my eyes and I'm not happy with it, so I'll give it another coat of gloss. But as for the rest of it, I'm happy the way it's turned out, so I suppose the next clip you'll see is of the room just totally finished and hopefully everything in order. Okay, that is it I suppose for this little bit. Well guys, I have now completed it near enough, I've just got to put a door handle over there. That door's been re-glossed and for a little surprise, I've put that there. And that's what I've done with the fireplace. Now look at this for a fireplace. I did that myself, of course. Just made it 
a bit more classy just by putting a bit of black gloss in the in-between bits and there again just there I think it looks nice and I've made a sort of a feature wall really rather than it just being all magnolia uh, the sink area in the end I just painted it and just make it look better but I will need to replaster it and everything but I just can't do it yet and I'm, I'm just basically making this as a complete video <laughs> then I've just got to put a few boards along there and make that nice and neat new plug sockets they'll be silver uh, lampshade there we go <laughs> I found a lampshade but yeah I found that mirror instead of the gold one that was there previously that you may have saw at the beginning I can't remember if I have but yeah, this is uh, now complete. Uh, I did seal in, like I said I was going to, the uh, skirting, just to make it look nice and neat, you know? So if you, if you do that, it gets rid of all your uh, gaps of where the flooring goes, you know? Uh, that there, I'm gonna put a metal strip along there, so that hides whatever is there. Uh, so yeah, then there's uh, just a nice little guest room now. I'll put a bed in here and everything, a little fridge can go under there. Also, these curtains here with the curtain pole cost me a uh, fiver from a Facebook free cycle site thing or advertising site, you know. Uh, yeah, it cost me a fiver with the curtain pole, uh, which is happy days. So yeah, got new tie back, got tie backs with it as well. So, can't be bad, so I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll go, we'll look, look forward to the next room, showing you the next room. But that was it for this decorating the guest room. Yeah, hope you've enjoyed joining this little series so far. <laughs> but look at that fireplace, I'm well pleased with that. That, does, that really does look classy. Well happy with that. Yeah, so... For now, it's a nice neat job. <laughs> I'm happy with it. And uh, yeah, people can now stay in here and whatever, once to get the bed in. Anyway, let's meet the mayor. Bye for now.